I've never built my own house, but I have renovated a few derelict properties in my time, and while I consider myself quite handy, it's always worth learning a few new skills. And when it comes to basic DIY, decorating is the one most people are prepared to have a dabble at. Today, I'm at building college to have a brush with the painting professor. Right, Sean, what are we up to today? Well, the challenge of today's task is to actually paint a flush panel door with gloss, oil-based gloss finish. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, it does. Lots of people think it's quite easy, but it's probably one of the most difficult challenges a, a decorator will have to undertake. So my hopes of a nice, easy day are out the door. Uh, Sean, listen, I'm no painter and decorator, but first obvious question. I'm painting blue over yellow. For the purpose of the challenge, it's just so we're a contrasting colour and to highlight any mistakes or errors that you might make when you're painting, it'll okay. show up a lot better on the Or you camera. might make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Hopefully not, hopefully not. Sean's given me ten minutes maximum to paint the door and just to pile on the pressure, it's a race. You can, you can buy all sorts of different quality brushes, can't you? Yeah. Is it worth forking out for the more expensive ones? Is there a difference? <coughs> Most definitely. You know, you, you see them, don't you? You see them in the baskets by the checkout and that. You know, you, get, you can buy eight brushes for three quid. Oh, they're absolutely awful. Well, the bristles will fall out and they'll fall to pieces and within two minutes it'll... Well, you don't get the quality of finish either. Even if I was using all eight of those cheap brushes, I reckon Sean would still be quicker than me. It's getting ahead of me. <laughs> a big part of glossing, especially a flush panel door like this, is actually making sure you get the consistency of your paint right. What do you mean? How? Well, what's the difference? It just comes out the can, doesn't it? Well, as it comes out the paint tin, obviously sometimes depending on the conditions, whether it's been cold or freezing, yeah. the paint does tend to thicken up. Your best process to do is actually submerge your paint can in a bigger bucket of warm water and let the warm water um, thin the paint naturally. So I've worked out my first excuse. I'm sure this isn't the right temperature. No, yours is exactly the same as mine. Although well, I could have doctored it because you weren't there when I was pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we've been painting about three, four minutes of work. Are we? Go on, how long then? I reckon you need to pull your finger out some shit. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> I think the race is already lost. Aye, aye. You've got a spray gun. <laughs> but I can keep finding those excuses. Oh, this dodgy brush you've given me, the hairs are all coming off all over the place. Five minutes gone, Sean's done. Well, mine's bang on. Well, we're happy to judge of that. Beautiful. <laughs> not looking too bad, it's not looking too bad. Never mind, I, I eat it when people are looking over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Say you were going to decorate a room, let's say a standard bedroom, how long should that take a professional decorator? A week, maybe a week and a half. Okay, and that will get you a, a, a real good quality finish? Yeah, I'd say so. Well, unless you were doing it. <laughs> How long left? About ten seconds. Oh, <laughs> we're not bothered about the customer's laminate floor, don't worry about that. Oh. Could you put some sheeting down? I know we are here. I've sheeted it. Go on then. So we have a look, inspection. Yeah. What do you think? Well, Would you be happy paying somebody for that? Have you got a decorator in? There's, there's a... Never, don't ask me. Um, now I'll put my eye over it, I can still <coughs> see brush strokes. There's brush strokes, there's a few misses, it's not on quite even there. Yeah. Well, your top off your door isn't too bad now. Have you started getting fed up as you got lower down? <laughs> I started <laughs> running out of time, didn't I? Yeah, you started talking too you much. You kept me talking. Around. No, it looks pretty good. I haven't said that, you can see the difference immediately. There's no runs, there's no misses. It's I think it's the lighting. Well, a big problem that students tend to get, DIY people, is getting the paint on quite thickly. They worry that you can't put it on too thick because it'll run, but if you get it on thick and even, it'll hold up. So I've got it on quite thickly, and that's why it's held up, and that's why it probably looks a lot... Um, glossier. Glossier than yours is, yeah. How many out of ten? Go on, give us a score out of ten. I'll probably give it 6.57, maybe. Seven. Seven. I'll take the seven. Yeah. <sighs> Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. 